Hey you guys, it's Cassandra72 and I am coming to you today with another one of my couponing chat videos. So I wanted to talk about the experiences that I had today. Um, you saw my collective haul video and it looks like I was very successful, right? And I do consider myself to have been extremely successful today. However, it was not <laughs> without its challenges. And um, I just say it's uh, couponing for me is an exercise in patience. Um, because I am not the most patient person whatsoever. And, you know, I have heard it said that, you know, if you pray and ask God for patience, does he give you patience or does he give you more opportunities in which to be patient? And I truly believe that he's given me these opportunities to be patient. First off, this morning at Walmart, you all saw that I got back $7.23 from them. Um, however, I was initially told that they did not do cash back. So, on coupons, and I'm like, did something change in just two days? Because I was just here and did this a couple days ago and did get cash back. And then the CSM canceled my transaction out. You know, if you didn't do cash back, that was one thing. I would have added something else to the transaction, you know, but he just canceled it. I don't know if it was to get with the other uh, the, with the other customers or you know what his rationale was and just canceling my transaction out and so you know but I did ask to speak to a salaried member of management and that's at what time he canceled my transaction out and went to talk to someone and then when he came back he said he told the cashier that they said to go ahead and do it so of course he walked away you know so she had to get someone else to turn the key um you know, so she just had to reread my transaction and end up giving me my $7. You know, and the thing is, I don't understand what these people's problems are. They act as if they really have some stock in the company. Um, I when before the gentleman was even called over. Um, I was telling her, yeah, um, the policy, the policy states that, you know, you can get cash back or, you know, or given to the basket. But before I could even get the rest of it out, she says, I didn't ask you what it said. <laughs> like, you know, it'll just be their decision. I'm like, wow. So that probably should have set the tone for the day. But um, then I went to work and then I met up with my friend and coupon later. So we plan to do Kroger and Target. Um, again, you know, Kroger started off, for whatever reason, the coupon was beeping, even though it was the right coupon. It was didn't want to go through at this time. At this Kroger, when I got the same item last night, what is the fantastic multi multi purpose cleaner, and the seventy five cent coupon? It should have worked without with the charm. I mean, it, it's you know we don't go by pictures, but it's pictured on the coupon, you know. So, but you know we were in self checkout, you know, trying not to hold up regular lines. But when this lady just had her, the issues that she had, and you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna sit here because I have four transactions and do four transactions because. She's going to have a cow. So we ended up going to a, another register, um, a, not a, an actual checkout, and had absolutely no issues there. So um, some people really, like I said, they take their jobs a little bit too seriously. <laughs> um, yes, do what you have to do, you know, follow the rules. But, oh, my God, don't make the customers feel like they're, you know, like they're thieves or something. Which, on the topic of thieves, brings me to Target. So we visited two Targets. The first Target, uh, my friend slash sister, she was ringing out, up, out in front of me and she had 12 bounds. Okay? And four Lysol. So the young lady that was ringing her up, when she got to the coupon, she just, she's staring at the coupon and she tells her that it's supposed to be on time. She didn't continue reading. Okay, so apparently she went to get a CSM. And what she, according to my friend, was told the CSM was that she's trying to use a tie coupon on bounce. And, you know, so when she came over, the CSM came over, she already had an attitude because she had said, oh, no. And when she came and she looked at it, then she said that it cannot be... Um, exceed the price of the item and we're like it doesn't because this is three dollars off three and the item is 197 so it doesn't exceed it 
So, um, at this point, I have to try to pipe in because she's saying, oh, she's only going to allow one coupon per the whole transaction for the bounce. And I said, she said, because it said one per purchase. I said, yes, but it does not say per transaction. It says per purchase. At which time I stepped around, we had our brother with us and he was going to do a transaction of 12 for the bounce. And I just had lights off because for some reason, they must be on the couponers in this area. Every target we go to every time, it's only enough to do two transactions of 12 on the shelf. So at least that's the way I look at it, you know, because who normally is going to go and buy 12 bounce? But, you know, like I said, that's what we do. So um, I step around him and I start to break out the the bounce into three, se four separate piles of three. And I said, it's $3 off three. So this is a purchase. This is a purchase. This is a purchase, and this is a purchase. And she says, no. So, like I said, she says she's only going to allow the one. Okay. But, you know, if she had a, if there was a problem, then my friend could take it up with loss, with, with her asset protection manager. What, when did these people start involving loss prevention in the discussion about a coupon? Really? It makes no sense <laughs> and a lot of people have had that experience and i'm you know it makes it very it makes you not even want to shop these stores and then you call customer service and depending upon who you get i mean you really feel like you have you know no vindication or what have you so um basically we were told that the managers could decide how many they wanted to take you know no matter what the policy stated um, and then I asked about, you know, why loss prevention gets involved and, um, you know, and so he said he didn't know why she would have called loss prevention, but, you know, not even, not even being apologetic about, you know, how we felt. Like I said, we feel totally disrespected in this store. Um, and it makes no sense. And... I'm sorry, I'm going to have to just put it out there, not to offend anyone, because I mean, you guys know, or well, maybe you might not know, but my fiance is white, <laughs> so this is not to offend anyone, I'm not being stereotypical or anything like that, but I feel they're being stereotyp stereotypical um, on this side of town. I felt like if it had been, you know, Caucasian ladies coming in there attempting to save their money, they wouldn't have had any issue with it, but it's because it's some black females coming in on top of their game, then all of a sudden, it's a problem. You know, I might be wrong, but I mean, that was just my opinion in this instance. Um, you know, because my my friend LaDonia and I have had the same experience kind of at BJ's. It was like, you know, someone was standing behind us um, that was of the other race and, you know, had a handful of coupons and nobody was giving her any grief. So anyway, but back to back to Target. So like I said, no resolution. And then the asset protection manager, because um, we were standing at customer service for me talking to customer service on a phone in Target. And he stood posted up, you know, at the front of the store the entire time. Like I've never seen loss prevention just standing there as if they're on guard, you know. And all of this over the use of a coupon and a disagreement about it. I mean, that wasn't even that serious. Um, because after she told my friend that she could only use one coupon, she said, no, you can keep your product. All right. So let me hurry this up because we're at almost at nine minutes. So what happens is, um, we actually, I ended up in, ended up calling Ladonia because this was not the person that was with me explaining this to her. So she says, you know, I'm put you on three way. We're going to call Target. And she asked the person that comes to the phone, um, you know, what is you all's problem with couponers? Because every time I come in this store, it's a problem. And this person did not state the policy basically like we said it. You know, hey, as long as it is not exceeding the policy or what the coupon states, then it's fine. And you could have done separate transactions. So we asked, could we come back and get the product? And she said yes. And if there was a problem, just to see her. All right. So we walk into the store. And all the product is still behind the store because she told us to go to guest relations because that's where they had taken the product and put it behind the, the, the desk. And so when we walk in, my girlfriend says that, hey, she's coming to get the product or whatever. And he, the, the young man that's behind the desk, one of the young men says, oh, well, we have to restock it first before you can purchase it. Okay, now we had just talked to the manager um, or a manager. And so 
then I said, well, just ask to speak to Sam. And then he goes, oh, I know why you're here. Like, really? Does it take all that? Um, but in the end, when we're cashing out, um, the young lady who ended up cashing us out said he always has an attitude like that. Like, he thinks he's better than everybody else when, honey, you're really not. But that's not the attitude to have with a customer, be I a coupon or whoever I am. Um, and then it got worse from there because, you know, um, you know, he says, oh, I know why you're here. And then um, he calls to see if he has to restock. And apparently he's told that he's not, he doesn't have to. He starts throwing the items into the basket, um, attempts to go to the young lady who didn't want, to, who had the issue at first, and then tells her, ring these people up. Like, wow, really? What is your problem? Um, and then when we're still asking to speak to Sam, even though the young lady is now ringing us up, he was like, you don't got to call her. Don't call her. Just, just, just ring it up. I mean, totally unprofessional. So, you know, like I said, we had a very successful day, but it was not without this trial. So I'm sure some of you all um, have, have experienced some of the same things. So, you know, hey, let me know what those things are. You know, what are your experiences? Because 95% of the time, couponing is, is wonderful, but it is not without its trials. But no matter what they do, I know personally it's not going to make me stop. All right, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, of course, you know, don't hesitate to leave them below. And as always, until the next video, I wish you peace and blessings.